A young humpback whale that washed up at Half Moon Bay is attracting a lot of attention tonight. Humpbacks migrate along the California coast, but this small whale didn't make it, sadly. And they're fascinating animals that have a, have a lot of people trying to take a look. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom is live in Half Moon Bay tonight with the story. Jonathan, a lot of looky-loos there. Very curious. That's true. It's created quite a spectacle, and as you can see behind me, quite a traffic jam. Hundreds of people have been out here to take a look at that dead whale, and a few of those people have a mission, and that mission is to figure out what happened. Experts are taking whatever samples they can from this young female humpback to find out why she died. They're actually endangered, so it's really important every single one that dies, it's important to know why. The big concern, human interference. Whales can get entangled with boats, ships, and fishing gear. They want to see if that's what happened, if they could only get a little closer. We're at the mercy of the tides. It's not safe. We don't want to put any human beings in jeopardy, um, so we'll take what we can. But meanwhile, kids are already... So he's learning about death. We've been talking to him about death recently and what it means to be alive and to be dead, and we thought it to be a good opportunity to show the little guy what death looks like. With death comes grief, an emotion some scientists say they've observed in whales. I feel bad for the mom because they only have one calf, and that means that there's a really sad mommy whale. Scientists could actually try to identify the whale's mother using a national DNA database, and they could find out other things, unlocking the mystery of why she died so young, only half the size of a full-grown humpback. If only the tide would leave her on dry land for a while. But it might not. We have to assume that she's going to float out and we may not see her again, so we need to get what we can while she's this close to land. In Half Moon Bay, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News. A dead whale is on its way to the dump after being towed to Fiesta Island this afternoon. Marine biologists were on hand to meet the whale and try to determine what caused its death. NBC 7's Rory Devine is at Fiesta Island to tell us what's happening right now. Rory? Well, Catherine and Monica, the smell from the decaying dead whale has now dissipated, and I can tell you that it was uh, it was pretty bad. And I only say that because it is one indication of maybe how long the whale had been floating out there in the ocean, dead. Now, it's possible possible that it is the same whale that was seen in Orange County on Monday. It was dead at that time. Then late this morning, lifeguards from the San Diego City spotted the whale about 250 yards off the coast of the Torrey Pines glider port. No one was sure whether it would float to shore on city property or state property. A deal was made to share the cost of getting the whale to the Miramar landfill. City lifeguards towed it from Black's Beach south around the Mission Bay jetty to Fiesta Island. The state then used front loaders to scoop the whale from the water onto the beach. Marine biologists were there to measure the whale and determine more about it. So we asked if there was any obvious sign of trauma. No, the animal um, has degraded too much to be able to pick up on those types of clues. And that's something that we definitely are interested in and we look for. And this animal, the skin is all gone. And so we wouldn't be able to see um, any kinds of, of signs that would tell us that. Then about 3.20 this afternoon, uh, maybe five hours after it was discovered by lifeguards late this morning, the whale was loaded onto a flatbed truck and taken to the landfill. Now, we are told that the whale was 26 and a half feet long. It was a gray whale, they believe, probably a juvenile. They will have to run genetics on it when they get back to the lab to determine if it was a male or a female. It is unlikely, due to the decomposition of that whale, that they will ever be able to determine a cause of death. But because it does not look like it had anything to do with uh, uh, humans, uh, they believe that maybe the whale just got sick and died. Coming up at 5, we will have more from people as they came out here to see what was going on. Reporting live, I'm Murray Devine, NBC7. Corrupt leader.